And hello everyone, welcome back to another Python tutorial. So in this tutorial, we'll be learning how to install and run Python code in free BSD. First of all, you want to open up the terminals. Then once you have your, ter your terminal open, you can just go into the folder you want, let's say documents. And let's say I have another folder where I can hold my Python code. So in there. Okay. And here, there's not much here. I can open up a file manager here. So if I were to open my file manager here, you'll see there is nothing here. Now we can create a file. And here I'm just going to say main.py because I want to create a Python file. Okay, now we have that there. You'll also notice if I were to ls, what's inside of this folder, there's main.py. Okay, then we need to install Python. So pkg, or you probably have Python already installed. So just check Python, press tab. If you see this, you're good to go. Just type Python free. If you press tab, you should see something. If you press enter, you should be able to go into this live environment here. If you do not have Python installed, it's just pkg search Python free. And you'll notice there's a lot here. So there's 3.8, 3.7, 3.6, 3.10. Then it's just a pkg install Python. And you just type in your numbers that you need to install that Python version. Okay, now once you have Python installed, then it's just an echo. And you can just print and then in quotation marks, hello world into well, into the main.py file that you created. Now, if you were to open this up, so let's say, yeah, open with mousepad. So you'll see there's a print hello world in here. You could have just opened the mousepad and type it in here, but I found the other method to be a bit faster. Okay. Now, once you have that, you can just say Python and your version of Python, as you can see, I have 3.8 and then main.py. As you can see, we get hello world. Okay. If everything works, then you have installed and run Python successfully. Yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all again in the next Python tutorial.